Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea for my review of the Chelsea versus Manchester City game and I got my prediction right. We won 2-1. Thank God for that. <laughs> Thank God for that. It was so important. Like I said in the preview, massive win. Like absolutely massive win. Um, you know, <laughs> I couldn't handle it. I was sweating all over the place. I was nervous. Like my, like I was shaking. Like my whole body was shaking, not just my heart racing. I was shaking, you know, pretty much all second half long because I was shitting my pants. That we you know, we could concede and stuff, you know, concede an equaliser. Um, but yeah, getting into the game, obviously starting off with the lineup, there was, you know, a few surprises in there. So um, it did end up um, with Moses missing the game with his toe injury. So it started off with um, Thibaut Courtois in goal, Gary Cahill, um, David Luiz and Kurt Zuma as the three centre-backs. Zuma obviously coming in for Victor Moses. Then the two wing-backs being Zizas Piliqueta and Marcus Alonso. And the two centre-mids, which quite surprised me, was um, Cesc Fabregas next to Angola Conte. I was happy with it, but it still surprised me. Because um, I you know, I would have thought Antonio Conte would go with Nemanja Matic, like he usually has um, been doing in big games. Um, and then up front, um, you know, like I said, Eden Hazard, Diego Costa and Pedro. And, um, you know, game started off first... 10 minutes, it was more like, you know, kind of, let's see what the other team does kind of thing by both teams. When the 10th minute, Eden Hazard made it 1-0. Good play on the right-hand side between Aspilicueta and Pedro. Then Aspilicueta cut it in to Eden Hazard, who had a shot um, from inside the 18-yard the box. Got it on goal. Probably Caballero should have done better for it, if I'm going to be honest. Um, it looked like he thought um, Hazard was going to put it in the, you know, to the near, near, near post. Um, and he just put it right in the middle, really. So Caballero did get a hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. And um, it went in and obviously, you know, perfect start. Ten minutes in and, um, you know, vital that um, we got the first goal. And thank God, it at least it didn't, you know, happen as quickly as it did against Crystal Palace for us to concede. And at least we didn't concede too straight away. But in the 26th minute, Aguero did make it 1-0. And um, I do have to talk about Tiba Courtois there. Like, mate, what are you doing? So um, I think it was Zuma who played it back to Courtois, as we, as we do. Um, you know, he was pressed by, I think, Aguero. Courtois had to put it on his weaker right foot. He tried to clear it, just terrible connection with the ball. I think he hit it pretty much at Silva, who was about 25 yards away from goal. Who played it to Aguero, who just put it into an empty net. And, you know, you can't be doing that, Thibaut. Like, be thankful that um, we turned around. Be very thankful. Otherwise, I think Antonio Conte might have beheaded him <laughs> after the game. Like... Don't do that ever again in your life. As long as you play for Chelsea, don't do that. Please stop it. I was shitting myself <laughs> because it was, you know, like Palace all over again. Yeah, you know, we didn't concede to equalise as quickly, but we still did. So um, I was not happy. Um, but not even 10 minutes later, we did um, receive a penalty. Pedro got brought down by Fernandinho in the box. Clear penalty. No arguments by the Man City players either. Um, Hazard did actually, you know, Hazard step, stepped up. He did actually miss the intent, like the initial penalty. Um, but he did get to the rebound and he put it into the net. You know, my heart just dropped when he missed, when, you know, Caballero saved the penalty. I mean, Caballero is a great, um, you know, penalty goalkeeper. He saved quite a few penalties this season already. But, you know, my heart just dropped when he didn't, uh, you know, score straight away. Thank God he put in that rebound, you know, obviously massive. Um, you know, second half, uh, rest of the first half, nothing much happened really. In the second half, Matic came on for Zuma actually at half time, which is very surprising. First of all, in the sense of, I don't think Antonio Conte has ever, you know, this season anyway, for us, um, made a half time substitution. And also to bring a centre back off for Matic. But what happened is Aspiliqueta got actually moved back to centre back, you know, where he usually plays. And um, Pedro got put out to wing back, you know, like where he played against Crystal Palace, which didn't go so well then. But um, thankfully, it worked, you know, all right in the second half today. It was a mixture between because sometimes um, Fabregas was out on the wing, kind of like staying in the three four three uh, shape, and sometimes he was quite central, playing like kind of a three five two. So I'm not hundred percent sure what it was. It doesn't really matter if we're completely honest. But you know, second half, both teams had. Very few chances. Um, we both had rather big chances. Um, City, to be honest, had the bigger ones. Um, but, you know, in the 81st minute, William came on for Cesc Fabregas. You know, obviously, just switch it um, about a little bit. Get more pace on the counter if we get one. And, um, you know, last seconds, really, Eden Hazard came on for... Um, no, Ruben of the Street came on for Eden Hazard. Um, you know, like like I said, City had two rather big chances late on. Um Good ball in by, uh, by Nolito. Um, Alonso didn't calculate it correctly and Aguero just got a foot to it. 
Thankfully, Thibaut Courtois saved that. And then I think from the corner after that, um, you know, John Stones really should have scored. <laughs> like he just put it over the goal from like five yards. It was a difficult one for him because it felt kind of behind him a little bit. But, you know, he literally put it over the goal from like five yards, if not less, if not less. But you know what we did today? We, we They had a lot more of the ball all game long, um, especially for a large period of the of the second half. Let's say from just after the first half start, uh, second half started till about the 75th, 78th minute maybe. They had more of the ball, um, but we defended really well. We didn't let them create anything really. They had about, well, they had about four chances, including their goal. Sane was through um, on goal once, which, you know, Courtois came out of his goal really well and, um, you know, he saved it. Um, and then obviously I talked about the last two chances. Company kind of hit, like he hit the bar from a corner, but, um, you know, it was rather lucky that it went to the bar other than, you know, it being lucky that it didn't go in. But yeah, those were their chances. But we did what we had to do. We came to win and that's what mattered. It doesn't matter if you have the ball. In a big game, you need to win and that's all that matters. You know, we know it from our Mourinho days. We usually beat all the big teams. We never really had a lot of the ball, but we beat them. And that's what matters, especially in the situation after now losing to Crystal Palace. You know, it, it, you know, we did we did what we had to do, really. We gave them the ball and we sat back and we didn't just sit back because we were scared. We didn't just, just sit back to defend, to park the bus. We sat back because Manchester City's greatest threat is getting in behind because they've got so much pace going forward. In Aguero, Sterling, uh, Sterling didn't start, um, Sane, De Bruyne, also Silva, you know, is quite p um, quick on the first five yards. And to stop that, if you sit, in, you know, sit quite deep, they can't get in behind because, you know, you run out of pitch kind of thing. Um, and that's what you do when you sit back against Manchester City and that's how to stop them. And we did, um, you know, if it wasn't for the Thibaut Courtois mistake that led to their equaliser, we wouldn't have conceded today. And, um, you know, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm buzzing. Um, you like you have no idea. Uh, what is a bit annoying is that Tottenham they were trailing one nil to Swansea for a long, long time with the game, but then they turned around and like scored three in the last six minutes or something. Um, so I was hoping for them to lose as well. But gap still remains seven points. Um, which is obviously big going um away to Bournemouth on the weekend, which is never an easy game because Bournemouth actually drew two two at Liverpool today. Um, but yeah, um, you know. We can win every game. There's no game that we can't win. Um, it was actually the first time ever in Pep Guardiola's career as a manager that he lost to the same team twice in a season. So um, thanks for that, Pep. Um, you know, welcome to England. Welcome to the Premier League, mate. But anyway, that's really it for me. Leave me all of your thoughts on the game down in the comment section below. Don't go in too hard on Thibaut Courtois. I know I slated him kind of, but we won the game. And, um, you know, everyone can make a mistake at times. If it doesn't cost you the game, what does it really matter? Um... But yeah, leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Are you as happy as me? I hope you are. <laughs> I hope you bloody are. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Massively do appreciate that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Up the Chels, um, you know, Saturday, like I said, away at Bournemouth. Can't wait for it. Check out the fan cams, which will be out a little bit later. And um, I'll see you next time.